The Weather Center with an updated look at what to expect for today and the days ahead. Karen, good morning to you. Good morning. As you can see our radar, all is pretty quiet right now, except for a few little stray showers that are up to our north. But the main thing you have to keep in mind today, it is going to be extremely hot and unpleasant outside. So take heed. We are under a heat advisory and that's going to last till about 8 p.m. this evening. So again, drink plenty of fluids and kind of limit your time if you can outdoors. Now looking at your weather headlines again we have that heat advisory in effect and those heat indices will feel like 106 out there so you really really have to take it easy out there. But we're also monitoring the development of a tropical system that's down in the Gulf but more on that in a moment. Uh, Greenwood, good morning to you. You're 75 degrees and all is calm out there. Humidity is 96% and that dew point is at 74 degrees. That's why it feels so heavy and sticky outside. Greenville, good morning to you. 75 calm winds as well. Humidity at 94% and again, you're at 73 degrees for your dew point. As we widen out the view currently, 75 in Vicksburg, 75 in Monticello, and 77 in Clarksdale. Looking at our forecast lows, it's really not going to be low tonight. We're going to be in the mid to upper 70s with Yasu City at 76 and Belzana at 76. Now looking at our radar here, as we look right now, the way it's situated at approximately 6.53 a.m., the latest view. We have this low pressure system that's right here. This is a stationary front that's here in Atlanta. That's going to eventually drift on down. When that happens, it's going to cause this low system, this low pressure to go into the Gulf here. With the Gulf here, the temperature this time of the year is about 78, 79 degrees. That's going to help to feed this system and it's going to give it more like tropical characteristics. And what that means is it's going to be a, a chance for an additional showers, storms, and it could be kind of heavy at times. So that's why we're monitoring it so closely. As we zoom in a little bit further, again, we have the heat advisory and then you have a few stray showers up to your north there. And as we advance a little bit further here, there's another line that will be here toward the weekend. But the main thing is we're keeping an eye out for that L right there, that low pressure system. And that could cause us to get a lot more showers later on in the week. As we widen out the view again, you can see these are the watches and warnings that are posted and we have some heavier storms that are in the central United States. We zoom back down here again and there's a close up view of the low pressure system and what we're monitoring. As we go off to the north here is the fog advisory and then as we go out to the central United States, that's where we have some storms and showers that we're really worried about. Possibility of showers later in the week and there's your pool forecast. Again, you want to kind of limit your time. Looking at, that for, looking at that forecast, we have the heat advisory, 96. Tonight, mostly clear and steamy. And then that seven-day forecast, we have plenty of opportunities for showers and storms. Candy? Hey, Karen, thanks for those updates. We've got more after the break. Stay with us.